In this movie I'm going to talk about some of the new features in InDesign CS5. It really is a fantastic version and it's got a lot of new stuff but more importantly they've improved a lot of basic things within InDesign that really does make your workflow a lot more efficient. Something like Mini Bridge. Bridge always existed and Bridge is a program where you keep your assets, your files, your images, the word processing files, etc. And you had to go to Bridge and you could drag it in here, but now they've built it right in as a panel in InDesign. You can scroll through and navigate your folders here. Here, for example, I can just bring a file in, just drop it on the page like that, and I always have this accessible to me. Simple but a great little feature. We've also got a new feature called Live Corners where you can just click and edit the corners, make rounded corners like that. Another simple thing, something you were able to do, but it's now a lot better. Simplified object editing. Now you'll notice when I go over a frame here, it gets highlighted. This is new and it makes using your document a lot easier and you can also edit the contents of a frame like this by just making it bigger within the frame without constantly switching back from different tools we have in the tool panel over here like this. Paragraph split and span enables you to create long documents without having to have multiple frames because you can put the headers and any bullet points across different columns or included in a single column. You'll see that and that is really a great boom for people who do long documents. It has made the frames a lot lot more efficient. Gridify you're able to come down and create a frame like this and just by hitting a few keys Create a grid like that, just drop in your images afterwards. I'll delete that. And swatches on the control panel, how simple a feature. Over here you can come in and just apply a color or a stroke as easily as that. Presentation mode. Here, you saw it in the last movie, I can come down and look at this. You can see the whole thing without any distractions on your page. The other thing you can do to find out the new features is come up here to your workspaces and choose new in CS5. Here it'll feature the new panels. Not all of these are new, something like layers has really been improved and it displays all your items in the layers a little differently. And again, this is something that we get into in the advanced panel. If you pull down any of your menus here, and you go into some of these options you can see all that's changed. Some of these aren't necessarily major changes like export. When they go to export a document they've got a lot more things that you can do and the Flash Player and CS5 Professional export to Flash has been improved a lot. So sometimes that's what they mean by a change. So you can just mull through these. Some are new as I said and some are just improvements track changes. So if you're working with different people you can take a look at what changes they have made and choose whether to accept them or not. Live captions, a simple thing but I can just right click in this and uh, choose captions, generate a live caption. It gives me a caption, in this case the file name, but there are plenty more options than that. So the big thing is interactive InDesign. Let me just switch over to another document here and give you an example. And here you can create flash graphics that can be put on a web presentation. And you can view these. And I think my preview panel has disappeared. Let me just get it here. It's gone somewhere, but I can bring it up here like this. And here, look at that. You can create animation. Export this as a SWF file and just put it directly on a web page. This is designers doing flash without the programming. How good is that? But again, this is something that we'll look at a lot more in the advanced tutorial. So to start off with, we're going to go through the beginnings. We're going to learn the basics and then we're going to get into some of this advanced stuff. And it's a lot of fun, especially when you get to the interactive.